Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me for Mystic Ashram Tarot. My name is Dharamkar Finley and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Um, I am reading from the quick and the easy tarot by US Game Systems at the moment and with a past life oracle card at the end for you all. Um, so it's been a long time since I did readings. If you'd like to support me and keep my internet on and me fed and alive, there are links below and you could do that if you wanted to. You could also get in touch with me. Okay, so here is um, your present position, Pisces, is a good beginning turns against you. Bad luck, your dream is doomed. Uh, this is just one dream though. It is lost in a crowded marketplace or not well received. Ideals were not original enough or timing was off. Bad initial planning was maybe to blame. And what I'm seeing here is a dispute over legal matter. It's actually some sort of business or innovation or project that you were working on in a team. And uh, somebody had um, an issue on that team and started a lot of problems. So uh, this crossing it, this would be the person... Uh, they are signified by a male under 30, but it can just be a really immature person of either sex. It says that they're cool, unemotional nature. Um, a sensuous person who stresses the physical side of life, so somebody maybe with substance abuse issues. Um, they're worldly and jaded, so look for sarcastic sense of humor. Um, life holds no surprises for this person, so they might be kind of a grifting personality. Um, attractive and well-dressed, look for that because they might not value hard-earned possessions um, as much. He might deceive you and is not as he appears. Do not trust this man with your heart. He will break it. And what I'm thinking is that this might have been somebody on your team for a project or at your workplace. Or um, hopefully it is not your partner. Uh, it's the Page of Cups reversed though. So uh, that would signify some sort of emotional attachment. Um, so it's not like somebody you only had casual attachment to. It's it's somebody that you thought was a good friend, at least. In the past, this was a male under 30 who was high-spirited, uh, engaging, optimistic, makes friends easily, sociable and charming, intelligent, educated, with good common sense, loyal, honest, trustworthy, thinks before he speaks. This person trusts you and looks out for your best interests. He will have an effect on your life. So you have had good experiences in the past. I don't think it could be that this, is, this person and this page of cups reversed, the page of pentacles, page of cups reversed, so this would indicate they have money. This would indicate that they are now not emotionally there for you at all anymore. But what I think this is, is that this is, you know, you've had good relationships in the past. And this happened to be a bad relationship at the moment. And it's causing you this hurt in your very beginning of something, it could have been a job, could have been school, some some sort of new beginning you were looking forward to. This guy just like tried to steal the credit or uh, just crapped all over it. In your head, you have the Queen of Wands, and I see this as you, or uh, maybe it's a significant female in your life. Um, but it signifies a popular and outgoing woman, attractive, healthy, fit, fashionable, competent, decisive, intelligent, methodical, planner, creative, full of ideas, new ideas, practical with ma money, kind, emotional, cheerful, easygoing, protective, and supportive of others. So it, it means like you're, you're very mission focused. Uh, I think this is you, and I think that you have all these really outstanding qualities, which is what 
this guy, why this guy showed up to try and hone in on that. And in the present, you're experiencing bad advice, rejection of your ideas and dreams by others, decisions made too hastily, perhaps, unsound business judgment, bad luck sneaks up on you unexpectedly, money or investment may be lost, withdraw from unimportant arguments, you have enough arguments. Uh, save your strength and energy from the most crucial battles. And this is the Three of Wands reverse. So there's just so, something's getting petty. It's getting stupid. Uh, this is a secret that is the secret card. And um, the secret knowledge to this is that there's a male over 40 who is secretive, elusive, and plotting against you. They're openly bigoted and narrow-minded. They hold a grudge. They might be involved in a difficult moral decision. You may uh, lose your virtue, innocence, or money through this man. So he, he has no compunction about screwing people over. Uh, do not trust him with your heart or possessions. What I'm thinking is that this is a secret about this person and that this person is actually like a lawyer or some sort of advisor or works for this person and they're basically a fascist. Uh, who this person is either, I'm getting the feeling related to, but I could have hired. And and they're the ones advising this person how to mess things up. So there's your secret knowledge. Now, uh, how do you take care of this? Well, this um, Queen of Wands is turning into this high priestess here and I think this is your next step of evolution through this. It's inner peace and strength. You will be preoccupied. A passive reaction is best. Let others overreact while you remain calm and sure of the outcome. The answers to all your questions are already inside you. Tap, your, tap into your gut feelings. A mysterious and desirable yet unattainable woman may enter your life. So, um, look for female, uh, people of power who can, uh, assist, uh, just enriching your life at this time. And the best attitude is calmness. And actually what I'm envisioning is that you need to get a professional advisor, audit it with an actual accountant or hire a lawyer or find a friend who knows a lawyer who is willing to talk to you in a casual way. Maybe you can work out a barter if you can afford this. But whatever it is, this is requiring extreme high high vibration, spiritual knowledge, and just cool, calm collection. That's the best thing that can happen with this. So in your um, emotions right now, we have a lot of strife. Um and suffering right now actually this is a hard time it's immature laziness and lack of ambition crisis and conflict lost a b belief in your abilities signals a low point in your life any facet of your life is at risk your future is in doubt possible loss of job home or loved one relationship trouble broken engagement Deal with the reality of your situation. Face it head on. Hiding from it will only make it worse in the end. So get it over with. Uh, this is the Sun Victory in Reverse card. And this is indicating that this is probably uh, threatening to kind of wreck your world in some way. Somebody stole something. Maybe an idea. Maybe there's just issues. This is other people and their emotions and what um, they're bringing to the table. This indicates a male over 40 or somebody who's truly mature uh, emotionally. Consummate deal maker, risk taker, smooth talker. Uh, sophisticated, successful, gives generously devoted to civic, religious, or philanthropic activities. Affectionate, hardworking, chases the trappings of success, including expensive cars, a nice home, toys, and nice clothing. So, uh, what I'm getting is lawyer. 
do not be afraid to go for the best, spend actual money, hire somebody who has uh, all the trappings of luxury and material possessions because they are actually good at what they're doing and your idea, your dream is worth protecting Pisces. So, whereas you're, you're usually very, um, very, uh, deep and into your work and emotionally, uh, you know, rooted and, and, um, that's where your comfort zone in that other world of the deep ocean. Um, this is saying that you need to find your spark again, your inspiration, and that the world you're inhabiting may not be the right one for you, and that this lawyer or professional of some sort will save the day. They will come up to this hope, the um, world. You will enter a period of great happiness and positive events. This is the culmination, the conclusion of maybe years of struggle. The pieces fall into place. Goals are achieved. Unexpected sums of money come your way. Travel or vacation. Possible change of residence or job. Sense of fulfillment and inner peace from helping the less fortunate. So if you're you're feeling difficult times um, then you should probably help those less fortunate than you, uh, to feel better. Um, that would be the solution. Whatever you you give will be returned to you many times over. What I'm thinking this is, is an excellent career, uh, decision or field of business or work. And that this other person has started some crap that might keep you from that. And this is a positive result in your favor. It's saying, no, no, Pisces will be allowed to complete this, will be allowed to bring this new way of being forward, and will be prosperous in that in every way. That there, there's a lot going on, many pieces culminating to your success. And your, your final card, which turned into four final cards in this deck because I needed to know. Um, you are not facing problems. They won't go away on their own. You will need to incur the courage to overcome them. A long period of trouble and suffering ends with courage and hard work, stagnation. You are in an intellectual rut. Open yourself to new ideas. Look for ways to stretch your imagination. The answer to your problems is inside you. So, um, maybe writing, maybe art, uh, whatever it is, you can work your way out of this difficulty, something, some tool that you have right inside, uh, has the answer. So this is the, uh, five of swords, which is put self-interest and self-preservation first. You can't be of use to anyone if you don't look out for yourself. Conflict and hostility defeat and destroy important projects. The outcome may seem unfair. This difficult time will provide insight and growth. Possible illegal or immoral conduct. Public shame and dishonor. So what I'm getting from this is that even if the legal system is not resolved entirely in your favor... They will be shamed publicly enough to walk away and not demand anything more. Um, that's uh, also, you know, they will potentially not do this to anybody else. And um, uh, you are doing all right. Um, this Five of Swords is strife. Uh, this Ten of Swords reversed is pulling this strife out. Um, and then you have feelings of exhaustion, low energy, lethargy, and mental dullness. You are over-involved, need to choose between too many commitments, loss of enthusiasm, interest in very many things. Has uh, that You've lost interest in many things that have made you happy um, before. And material success doesn't necessarily mean you're happy. 
So you you might have what you need technically, but there's not a lot of emotional support going on. You're not feeling as um, connected, perhaps. You're feeling isolated. So here is finally the outcome of all this. You will enter a great period of peace and contentment, the Ten of Cups. So these are two people standing in front of the rainbow while the children play and and they have a river and you can see the house and and it's not a big house but it's a big piece of land they they're very comfortable and spread out so this is talking about you're going to have peace and contentment you're going to have a supportive family great friends special love relationship commitments made and kept joy and happiness forgiveness and reconciliation um, you have all the material possessions you need. Purchase of a home. So, got everything you need, go back home. And uh, that's what I'm really feeling for this culmination is that um, maybe you started out a land deal, for example, or you started out school. And then you were closing the land deal or in your first semester when something reared its ugly head and a bunch of stuff came down and it looked like you'd either have to quit school, you were in the wrong program and going to have to maybe reconsider your major all of a sudden, totally different major. Maybe law, actually, law or pre-med is what I'm getting here because you want something that's tangible and you're gonna you're having to fight for whatever this is and law and medicine is some of our like highest accolades in education so if you're able to get either of those things wow and this is saying I think that there's there's like some uh evil kind of evil more experienced dude and then there's like this positive um more experienced dude and this one loves fancy things and this one doesn't like um people of all different types and varieties and stuff so you should be able to figure out who is who but what i'm seeing is two lawyers who meet in court and they work out a deal do not handle this yourself um, and I don't think you'll have to. I think that this high priestess and a lot of other signifiers are saying you have, this is the high priestess, uh, basically pleading the fifth. Like, I don't have to talk to you, dude. We got a liar. He's handling it all. And there's nothing to talk about. Okay. So, um, and it's a favorable outcome. It really is. Uh, you will pull all ten swords out of your back. Um, you will be able to uh, have this person, this separation, finally. It's not a happy situation, but it, it is honorable because he's got his sword upright. The other person's having to retreat. Now, in your, your uh, past life oracle reading, I got uh, Orphan which is about maybe having a larger expanded soul group um, than some other people because uh, like in other previous lifetimes you lived in orphanages or you're used to boarding schools or something where there were a large amount of kids who acted as family members for one another as opposed to there being adults who were constantly in charge. So it may have um, left you with uh, maybe a distrust of authority figures and a persecution complex and a lot of friends from all walks of life as you go through life who are immediately drawn to you and attracted to you as their soul family. Um, this is all about ships for your past life and this has to do with uh, dramatic amounts of geographic travel in your past lives that you came from radically different foreign cultures from this one perhaps at times and that uh, this um, travel on water through these ships over many lifetimes it took a great amount of courage 
it took a great amount of health and resilience and you fortitude and you have that discipline that hardiness that uh resolution uh is what i'm being told that resolve is within you to charter new horizons in technologies in uh, new lands in new exploration wherever you find it maybe scientific adventure um and uh explore and push those boundaries uh as as somebody who is independent like an orphan has to be and self-reliant and what this is saying so going into a new area by yourself and then finally there is mother and mother is um mother is a heavy card in this deck it means that you may have unresolved issues with your current mother. It means that um, over you may not want to be a mother yourself. Um, or you may have issues with motherhood. Um, like the entire concept of pregnancy or children or uh, the, the classically defined role traditional role of the mother may may be a difficult concept uh, based on these past lives um, you may not even be used to having a mother and if you have a mother in this lifetime who um, you're you're just uh, you go for a long time without talking to or you uh, have never gotten along with or they don't seem to understand you or whatever your mother relationship mother issues are um, realize that you were brought in this life to be a pioneer like in the ship's card to be um, autonomous and uh, brave with your friends and offer nurture to your friends perhaps like a mother listen to their issues and take them to new foreign shores uh through out of the box problem solving so that's what i'm getting there is that you are independent courageous and you also need to work on identifying and nurturing your divine feminine energy maybe uh try only to think positive happy things about your mom Okay, that's all I can do. Pisces, rising sun, uh, moon, and I will see you very, very soon for Mystic Ashram Tarot. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, there's info below in the subscription. I only have 450 subscribers, so I need a thousand or they don't even let me look at what goes on. You know, it doesn't even count if I don't have a thousand. So I just figured I'd put that out there. Manifesting and visualizing that. Satnam. Have a good day. Take care. Much love to you.